The average lifespan of a refugee camp is about 20 years. This presents a huge challenge to provide services for people that are quick to set up, but also robust and long-lasting. Research has shown that for off-grid areas, solar energy is the cheapest and most reliable solution for pumping and supplying water. However, it is still not being widely adopted for humanitarian responses. The Global Solar and Water Initiative, formed by IOM, Oxfam and NRC, with funding from ECHO, addresses this. Since 2016, we have visited 55 camps and communities, conducted training workshops in eight countries and addressed technical queries from 80 organisations across five continents. This has built the technical capacity of decision makers and engineers in government and humanitarian organisations, increasing their understanding of solar pumping and along the way, debunking some myths about solar. By analysing 140 different water schemes, we found that switching to solar will pay for itself within four years. And in some circumstances, solar is cheaper than a diesel generator from day one. Over the lifetime of these systems, solar will be 40 to 90% cheaper. Where negative experiences with solar were found, they were unrelated to the solar technology itself. Accelerating adoption of solar will save millions of dollars every year and provide a more reliable access to water at lower cost. The Global Solar Water Initiative would like governments and organisations planning and implementing water supply projects to adopt solar technology as a default first choice option anywhere where grid electricity is unreliable, while raising awareness among their staff of the performance and financial benefits of solar compared to other power options. And additionally, to recognise that solar technology can be appropriate during the first phase of an emergency. There is no need to delay introducing these cost-effective and sustainable solutions. More information on the Global Solar Water Initiative, including resource materials and training opportunities, is available at the following website.